What's up, Bakugan Brawlers? Welcome back. Saturday Night Brawl is happening at our house. We're going to put on another match for you. We're going to play another game. I don't know if you guys just watched the epic battle rematch between my 10-year-old and my 8-year-old, but uh, it was pretty awesome. Very close game, 2-2. Two to two. And uh, had my 8-year-old, he realized afterwards if he would have deployed his Vylantor gear instead of Rock Hammer, that game could have gone the other direction. So uh, we're going to have another battle before uh, my boys sit down to watch a movie for the night. And uh, we'll just put on one more show here for you. We want, we love to brawl, so we're gonna do it some more. So, gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Let's shake hands, friendly match between brothers, and let's uh, open up this uh, field. Gate card set. Gate card set. All right, gate field. cards have been set. The field is now open. So, youngest player goes first. We'll start with my eight-year-old. All right, flying quickly off the card. That is a stand. So we'll put him in the center of the card because he went flying off. Chaos Ingram stand. Okay, so we have a miss. All right, we have a Aquos Neo Dragonoid stand. Two standing Bakugan. All right, we got a Darkest Cordum stand. So what we're gonna do is take the Bakugan off, and actually it looks like my 10-year-old is uh, activating a ability card. Ability card activate, Dynamo Charge. And uh, awesome uh, artwork there of uh, the powerful Hylash in his uh, anime form there. And we'll read the text here. Play at the start of a battle on an opponent's gate before the gate card is revealed. Your Darkest or Pyrus Bakugan gains ability card and gate attribute G power bonuses twice for this battle. Very, very powerful green ability card. We've seen this one before in the last match, Dynamo Charge. So that uh, Darkest Quartum over there will be getting double ability and double gate bonuses for this battle. So let's reveal the gate card. And uh, we've seen this one before. This gate card is called uh, Tricolor Boot. And uh, the gate card text, Bakugan owned by players with at least three different attributes in the game get plus 150 G power. So uh, pretty powerful copper bronze card. So we've got, uh, we've got a Darkest uh, that's gonna get a bonus of 50. Plus he does have three different Bakugan in the game, three different color attribute. So uh, he will get the additional 150. So 150 plus 50 is 200. But because he's using the Dynamo Charge card that uh, will double all of his gate bonuses and ability card bonuses for this battle. So that's actually gonna give him, instead of uh, 50 plus 150 or 200, he is going to get uh, 400 out of this. So pretty cool uh, artwork there of, uh, looks like a Thunder Wilda or Wilda. So, um, we're going to add that up. We've got, uh, we've got this uh, Darkest Court I'm here, 760G plus 400. So, if we add 300, it is 1,060. So, 1,160. Can you remember that over here? 1,160? What's your number? 1,160. Okay. And over here on the tricolor boot for the Chaos, Chaos is going to get 250 out of this card. Uh, plus, he's going to also get 150 G power because he is using three different attributes as well. My eight-year-old is. So, uh, it's going to be 150 plus 250, so 400 out of this gate. So, we've got a 770 plus 400, 1,070, 1,170. What's over here? 1,160. So, we got 1,170 with my eight-year-old, 1,160 with my 10-year-old, and uh, you are down by 10. So. Because he's down, he's chosen to uh, play an ability card. This ability card is called Teamwork Aquos. We saw this in the last game. He used this one as well. This is going to give 170 to his Darkest Quartum, but because he's using Dynamo Charge, that 170 is going to be doubled to 340. Play during a battle. If you have an Aquos Bakugan in your used or unused pile, your Bakugan gains G power based on the attribute. If we look over there, there's an Aquos Bakugan in his unused pile. So he's going to get an additional 340. So he was down by 10. Now he's up by 330. He's used two ability cards. So you are down by 330. Do you have any counters over here? Any ability cards? You use any battle gear or nothing? All right. So he's going to go ahead and give up this gate. And it is now 1-0, power level 1. One gate card remaining inside the field. And here is a chance for my 8-year-old to double stand. And it's a miss. <coughs> Just shows you how important rolling is. And there's another miss. So play will go back over here to my eight-year-old. He's uh, put, folding back up his Bakugan. And another chance for a double stand. 
And a miss. That card should have been his. Okay, and there is a battle. So we have a Subterra Dragonoid versus a Aquos Neo Dragonoid. So we'll reveal the the gate. The gate is called uh, Needle's Eye. And um, if we zoom in on the text, the Bakugan with the lowest G power wins this battle. So we've got a Subterra Dragonoid. We'll zoom in and see if we can't show you his G power. He's a 250G. Wow, that is low. 250, but he gets 150 out of this card. So 250 plus 150 is a 400. Notice that it doesn't say the lowest on the gate card text. If I can zoom in on my macro mode, it doesn't say the lowest printed G power. It says the lowest G power. So the sub terra is going to get 150. So 250, 250 plus 150 is 400. And over here on this Aquos. Uh, again, get the right macro mode, looking it upside down, but it is a 490, and it will get an additional 200 out of this card, so 690. So, do you have, uh, well, let's let's see what the score is right now. I'm just going to add it up. So we have a 250 plus 150. Use our trusty calculator. So that's a 400. So you're a 400 over here, okay? Find out how much you're leading by. And, uh... We have a 490 again. So we got 490. Doing this one handed, guys. 490 and girls. 490 plus 200. Well, that's not right. 490 plus 200. Well, gosh, we can just do that in our heads. So that's, uh, that's uh, 690. So 690 minus 400. Okay, so you're down by 290. Do you have a do you have a counter? Okay, so he's chosen to activate uh, activate some gear. Uh, this is silver Vylantor gear, and this is 80 G's. Uh, if we can find where the G power is printed out, I'll show you that. This is 80 G's. Get it on camera there. Okay, so that actually gives more power. So you're losing by 290. So now plus the 80 G's, you're losing by 370. Okay, and he has chosen to activate uh, his a reference ability card for Vylantor. Awesome picture there on the artwork. And because he has a Aquos Bakken on this gate, it says swap the gate card with any gate card in your enemy's use pile. So there's his Aquos, so you can swap for any one. So just like that, we're going to swap this gate card back into his win pile. We've now got a new gate. The gate is called uh, Tricolor Boot. We've seen it, so now we need to look at the rules on it again. And it says again, uh, Bakugan owned by players with at least three different attributes in the game get plus 150G. So we've got a 490 plus 100 is 590 plus 100 is 690. So we've got a 740. 740 and we got our little guy again 250g plus 200 is what four 450 so 450 and a what did i say yours was okay so you're a 450 we'll add it up again 490 is that right on this aquos no he's a 490 so 490 plus 100 is a 590 plus 100 is 690, so 740. So 740, we'll go back to our calculator here. Minus 540. 740 minus 540, well, you're down by 200. Do you have any uh, any counters? You're down by 200. No. No? All right, so uh, gate card is one over here. So the game changes just like that. It is now one to one. And we need some new gate cards set in the field here, guys. And actually, let's get these set, and then we're uh, we're going to be almost out of time. Eight card set. Eight card set. All right. So we've got uh, we've got about a minute left, guys. So uh, who just caused that last battle? Which one of you? Okay, over there. So play is back over here. Uh, the power level of the game is power level two. So uh, and so what I are you going to do? I'm going to evolve. I can find my 
Okay, well, you know what? While he finds his card, he's going to evolve. He's going to find his uh, Bakugan. He's going to evolve into the game. And we are out of time for part one of this uh, second match of the night. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll be right back with part two of this live brawl between the sons of Bakugan Sensei. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in just a minute.